Hello everybody, today we have here a Lindy E16 Evo forklift. This machine includes a warning lamp to inform the operator that the operating time to perform maintenance has been exceeded. We are going to explain how to perform time reset until the next maintenance with the jaw test. First, we must identify the machine. To do this, we must see the identification plate of the machine. In this case, the plate is located in the machine's interior over the pedal. In this plate, we can see the type. In this case, it is an E16-2, which means that it is an E16 model of the second generation. Besides it, we find the serial number of the machine and the reference number, which is also interesting. In this case, the reference number is 386. Once we have identified the machine and we have connected the jaw test, we turn the ignition on and we perform the maintenance reset. To do this, we go to the off highway module and select our material handling equipment. In this case, we have a Lindy E16 model. Therefore, we will select the range corresponding to the models from E12 to E20. Once we have identified the model, we select the system and the connection type. As we observe in the location image, the diagnostic connector is behind the operator seat. To connect jaw test, we will use the new connector JDC552A. First, we perform a prior diagnosis to see if the machine has any error that needs to be repaired. As we can see, this machine has no present errors. Therefore, we can proceed to perform the pertinent maintenance. Once we have performed the corresponding maintenance, we proceed to reset the icon of the instrument cluster. To do this, we go to the maintenance menu and select our new period. Initially an action help appears and it explains when the warning lamp of the instrument cluster will light up. As we can observe, that will happen when the time to the next service is less than 50 hours or 5 days. After that, we will see some previous conditions that must be met in order to perform the reset. Next, we have the information corresponding to the hours of the machine and the maintenance period. This period can be configured by operating hours or days. In this case, the expired period corresponds to the operating hours. Continually, we will enter the period until the next maintenance, which will be 1600 hours or a working year. Once the counters have been reset, the warning lamp will be turned off. Once we have performed the maintenance and we have erased the icon of the instrument cluster, the machine is ready and can continue its work.